Facebook, good afternoon. Hey, I'm sitting here on my lunch break getting ready to go back to work, but I just want to take a couple minutes real quick to talk with each of you about yesterday's trustee meeting. This has really been weighing heavy on my mind because it impacts one of the core values of me personally and the core values of my campaign, which is service. I want to talk about service and the service we provide to our citizens here in Brimfield Township. At yesterday's township trustee meeting, we had two trustees in attendance and one was gone. The one that was missing was out on vacation with his family, and that's perfectly acceptable. We all are in agreement that you need some time to spend with family and recharge batteries. Hope you had a great time. However, the other two trustees were present, accounted for, and called in roll call, which means we had a quorum. A quorum allows us the ability to vote on anything that was on the agenda. A beautiful agenda was laid out at the beginning of the meeting, then we were going to discuss things such as road improvement projects, sewer projects for our community center, an updated job description for a job that's been posted for our township administrator. There was a lot of information that was going to be covered today. However, during the meeting, the trustees decided that they weren't going to vote on anything. In fact, they tabled all items with the exception of the resignation letter from our township administrator. All those items have been tabled and will be discussed at a special meeting next Wednesday at 9 a.m. This is where service comes into problem for me. The customer, the citizens, took time to be there last night, to hear what was happening in our community, to see how things were going to be handled, and to have a better understanding behind the decisions that are made with our tax dollars. Instead of providing that service to myself and other citizens, and there was a decent turnout for once with some new faces, they decided instead they were going to table it all. They tabled the information, and they're going to talk about it next Wednesday at 9 a.m. My question is, how many people can attend a 9 a.m. meeting on a Wednesday? Not many, my friends. Not many at all. And that's where we're not providing good service. Those issues could have been easily discussed, could have been voted on and decisions made. If during the discussion process more questions came about, then we table it to our next normal meeting in two Wednesdays at 3 p.m. However, Charles Sprague and Sue Fields made the decision that they're going to hold a special meeting on a Wednesday morning. So my question is, what's going to be discussed at this meeting? Now, typically under special meetings, Robert's Rules of Order and Ohio Revised Code say that you can only discuss what was determined prior to the meeting to be on the agenda. Chick Sprague had a great plan, though. He, he added a clause to the agenda for the special meeting and any other pertinent township business which allows them to talk about everything that they would normally talk about at meetings where we're all there. However, they moved it. They moved it to 9 a.m., friends. So if you can, I'm asking each of you to, number one, go out, show up at 9 a.m., be there for that meeting, and let's hold them accountable. Number two, I'm asking you to like this video, share this video, and comment on it. We need to get the word out. We need to have accountability for service. They should be providing a service to us, the citizens of the township. Not to themselves, to us. And they should be providing that service to those citizens who took times out of their day yesterday to show up and be there and to hear what was happening. Instead, they just tabled it. Looking forward to your vote. Can't wait to talk to you next time. Great day.